Welcome back, Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me to a new episode or another episode of Music with Nick. Today we got a video for Scott. Thank you so much, Scott, for um, sponsoring you know this marathon and making it happen. I'm super excited to be back. Uh, I took a little hiatus. You know, I had to do some other stuff, and uh, but I'm happy to be back making videos. And uh, we did a lot of videos together, Alexia and I, and we will continue to make videos together as much as we can. But um, obviously, the video output was a little bit less. But I mean, you know, it's all good. <laughs> so today we're gonna resume our activities here, our marathon activities for Scott. Thank you so much again. Um, let me just count off the uh, the songs that we're going to do and we're going to dive into this as quickly as we can. So um, we're going to do some, um, I had to fix the microphone. So we're going to do some sea level. I've never heard of sea level. Um, I can't wait to see what they're all about. I have heard of Robin Ford and of course Jane Schaefer. I did that for a marathon some, some months ago. But so today we have... Um, we're going to react to That's Your Secret by Sea Level. This is from Cats on the Coast, 1977. Then we're going to do Sea Level Living in a Dream on the Edge album, 1978. Robin Ford, I've heard, song Freedom, Tiger Walk. This is 1997. I do love me some Robin Ford. Um, uh, Robin, <laughs> not Robin. Robin. And then Jen, uh, Jane Schaefer, we're going to do Ear Meal, 1978. We're going to do the song, It's Never Too Late. So there you go. There you have it. And thank you again, Scott, for this awesome request. And here we go. Let's dive into it without further ado. Thank you so much.
my god, this band is all like it's like literally like that's the stuff that I like. It's it, it reminds me a bit of Steely Dan, but maybe a little bit not um on the jazzy side, more just on the funky side. It's very it has a lot of layers, man. Oh, the guitar, especially the I actually brought my trusty guitar. Let me just get all the reverb off because they're not using any but I, they're doing a lot of like like and then just like a lot of like like that kind of stuff I don't know there's a lot of movement man i love it obviously this is like very very complex stuff you know but i love just like there's their the muting the the there's a lot of like licks you know and really cool chords and then also a lot of rhythm guitar but also you can hear like kind of like these two lead guitars kind of like battling each other i love the keyboard solo it's every, everything is super well like produced and that's why i get like this dan vibe you know because it's they're so good but it's not i think this is steely dan this would be more in the category of early steely dan you know because then they got so jazzy and they have this very particular sound to them you know like on asia and gaucho it doesn't really sound like that funky anymore um i mean i'm talking about this is more like green earrings you know like or I don't know, you know, like just like that style from Katie Light, Royal Scam. Yeah, very cool. I'm loving it. It's a really great band, Sea Level. Who, who, who would have thought, you know? Let's continue. That's your secret. part there let me try if i can do that um It's almost like an arpeggio. The dienta da 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 da. The guitar work is just fantastic. Everything they were doing. A lot of like that rhythm and a lot of this palm muting. But and obviously I don't remember the song, but it's like maybe not so much, but that sounds more like Aldi Miola. But it was like
<laughs> so good. No, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, I just think it's fun to, you know, break out the guitar and just like, you know, play along sometimes, you know, but definitely this is, you have to have the music in front of you or just listen and, you know, listen, 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 and then learn. But you can't just like play along with these guys. This is a different level of musicianship. So, okay. Next song is also by Sea Level, Living in a Dream. Let's check it out. Let's go. the silly time comparison i mean they are very jazzy this sounds much more jazzier than the first track so may maybe i got ahead of myself this sounds very ah uh, like smooth very yachty you know like yacht very very ah man very rich let's see Yo. And I love how the chords sound very, the, the piano, like very, like very chimey. Oh, man. But you can hear that, that palm muting. It's a very beautiful, just like sound. And instead of just, you know, hitting the string, you, you're muting it. So it, it pops like, I love that, man. Holy crap. And the whole production of this is just beautiful, man. I can't wait to show this to Alexia. You let nothing in. and yet you're moving and not caring where you've been. Yeah, you're above it all. Wow, and you remind me. Of 
Oh my god. Very tasteful, man. Wow, man. This was great. What a great track. I, I want to check out something here. This was beautiful, this part. This. <laughs> Like literally like this. Let's see. First he's like And then he goes And I also heard like a lot of like very like Mark Knopflerish like legs like Maybe I was hallucinating. Wow, just beautiful, beautiful. Everything in this song was just beautiful. Like, man, I love this band. And uh, I can't wait to do more. Like, sea level, man. Very, very cool. Okay. Um, now we're going to go with some Robin Ford and I d have heard some Robin Ford before. Not a lot, but I think one or two songs, the name does strike a bell, you know? So here we go.
does remind me a lot now that I've heard a little bit of more like of Hendrix does remind me a lot of Hendrix that snare drum is so loud it's really good it has a very good sound it's like bah! but it, it really has like this this guy has I love the way he is very like I think that's a little bit too much but Like he puts a lot of attention on his like the first note of whatever he plays. Or the well not actually the first but you have that popping sound, you know. You know, just um, I'm Wow, <laughs> what a great guy. Amazing. Um, 
just the 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 note choice is so rich you know um let me do my best impression let's see i mean it's so much fun to grab the guitar i don't know how good this sounds but uh, i love it like But he was more like... Well, actually, he didn't do like those, like... He never did that. He was very, like, melodic, but he was using a lot of the blues scale, I guess. Like, like... just very what i loved about this um this song was just the way he was switching between very clean guitar and then kind of like more distorted and then he licked the licks he was using were very not as simple as what i'm doing here this was very thought out like it was i think this was it reminded me a lot of jeff beck you know he just he just doesn't play you know he d he I mean, he, I'm sure he improvises when he plays live, but I, there's always a great theme to it. You know, when when I hear Jeff Beck, um, it's always like a theme. And then, yes, he does. He takes a solo, but usually the notes are thought out, you know, not just nonsense that I'm playing. But I'm just I get so excited when I listen to guitar players that this good that I just want to like, you know, of course, you can't just sit down and, you know, play like a master like this. But yeah, really cool. Really cool. Thank you for this, this song. So now our last guitar player, Jane Schaefer. I know that he was a, a session guitar player for ABBA and other people and Jazz Fusion. Uh, so ABBA, I guess it's one of the more commercial things he's done, but he's more like a Jazz Fusion guy. So let's see what he has to offer for us today. So... Again, thanks so much for watching. Thank you for being patient with me. See, you know, I know some people like the guitar, some people don't. Um, let me know what you think, you know, if it's too distracting, if it's... I mean, it doesn't take the immersion away from me, that's for sure. Um, but uh, if you guys don't like it, then let me know. I'll do it to a minimum. But if you like it, hey, you know, I can do it more. So um, uh, let's go with the last track.
now just a backing track to doom 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 But the bass and the drums, they're so tight. And I love the... Pal- There's so much so much palming going on. Like, boom, boom. And then also he, just the way he plays here, um, is also very palm muted. It's like almost they're, we're in the same headspace, these guys. Like this... Um, and I, I always thought that only Aldi Miola was doing this. But it just sounds so cool. You know, it gives a, it gives a lot of character to the playing it's a because it's a per- percussive sound you know so it gives a lot of percussiveness to the guitar and just instead of just being you know a guitar um sound it just sounds more like and i also love that they're using like the congas you know it's so good i mean great great music from this i think he's from i don't want to say anything but um yeah <laughs> I I looked it up I first time and I saw him where he was from but I don't remember that much but let's continue <laughs> very very good man thank you so much scott like the the band was great sea level i loved it and also these two um amazing masters of the guitar you know that's that is what i love so much about this channel that it i mean and especially when you guys kind of like tailor these marathons you know for music with nick i mean of course i'm sure that alexia would love this stuff But I just kind of like absorb it instantly and, you know, want to grab the guitar. She would love this, of course. But um, uh, it's just very, I'm very thankful. Like when you choose these, these, especially these guitars that I don't know. And uh, I mean, I, I've heard some Robin Ford before, but just the name, you know. And But I didn't know he was such a great player you know i mean once you hear him and then this guy was just also on another level uh, so it's just so much fun you know and then i mean i guess my reaction is to grab the guitar you know um and i love it so thank you so much for that i think i i really would like to dive into c level but i then again i don't want to spoil too much you know but i'm gonna definitely when alexia comes home i'm gonna play these two songs immediately And these two guitar players, it was a lot of fun. Thank you, you know, for you know, giving me this, these advices, you know, on this wonderful music and, and also the opportunity to be able to react and to say my piece. Man, this is really different level stuff. So thank you, Scott. And uh, you, you guys always know, you know, what to, what to choose and, and what to put on the channel, even if it's not the most, you know, well-known stuff in the world uh but this is not what the channel is about it's about having a platform for everything you know to be able to just sit back and uh hell i would love for someone you know to react to my favorite guitar players but i'm sure there are two out there you know like the stuff that i listen to is a little bit too 
uh, I don't know, it's very hard to digest and I get it, you know, but um, uh, this is great because it's just, you know, puts me on a different, you know, path. Um, like Jeff Beck, I've been listening to all the Jeff Beck requests and he's such a master. So, um, but these guys are not so far off, you know, they're also very good. So um, I just love this instrumental style. And that's not so much about speed and, you know, technique. It's more about feel, you know. So this is, these players are very technical, but also very, with a lot of feeling. It's not just all about, you know. So that's, that is uh, something that you kind of like learn when you get older, I guess, you know, about taste, you know, the, the notes, uh, you know. And sometimes the notes that are not being played, I've said this before, the notes that are not being played are the most important ones, those silences, when to stop, to not overplay and stuff like that, right? So thank you so much um, again for this, and uh, I hope you did enjoy. Thank you so much. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Who was your favorite guitar player? Who? Um, what do you think about sea level? Was this your first time? Let me know everything. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.